Vivian's kind of tall, yo. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Vivian, staying it up here, she's taller than me. There we go. Ah. Yeah, Vivian, unlike the other characters, she doesn't really fly and she doesn't really walk. She tries to keep a set height on the platform or whatever, but she just, just kind of there. She just kind of stretches out to wherever. Oh, I Luigi was over there. Yeah, Luigi was in Actually, the. Actually, real quick, in. while we, I'll go talk to him real quick. I, uh, they're they're sitting over here. That's been bugging me to do for a while. It's either in this house or. Oh, this is the one dude who's writing a book. Nobody cares oh. about him. Good job. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Jump on the chair. Yeah, I got a shine spray. Heck yeah. We gotta go upgrade Vivian. Yes, we do. Uh, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Whatever game. That is what the game brings to the game. Gang, gang, gang. How many shine sprites do we have anyway? That we got enough for at least two. Seven, yeah. wow. So we should probably... Well, let's upgrade Vivian. She's got an awesome ability. Yeah, let's go talk to Ouija, though, seeing as we're here. Are you selling anything, Tornico? Too long. Not much I care for. I mean, okay. jam and jelly's nice, but that's a whole lot of money for that. that. Yeah, that is kind of a lot of money. <laughs> Dark end of this game. <laughs> Right in the middle of the game, Mario just kind of... That was it. What's up, Ouija? Circuit Break Island. So the game isn't food-themed. It's whatever stuff-themed. Get it? Nuts? Like the ones you tighten? I get it. Well, obviously the newest one. Yeah, we kind of... I kind of want to know what just happened. A terrible racket. Oh man, cart races. <laughs> okay. Oh, we lost Vivian. <laughs> yeah, she's already out. Like, barely in there. It's like... And there goes Mario. I, I'm not even sure if we're like a paragraph in at this point, and they're both out already. I'm really surprised we never got a uh, circuit break island type thing in any of the Mario Kart games. That seems like a would have been a neat way to like lead into a new track or something. <gasps> well, don't. You're my favorite. That's right, Mario. Oh, so this is actually sort of like the, uh... Glitz... Glitz Pit. Yeah. This... It's his own Glitz Pit. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's like something they did in Mario Kart 7. Okay, <laughs> not exactly that, but... Still, well, it's I mean, getting there though. I mean, shells. I mean, you use turtle shells, yeah, but unless they had like a blue missile that took out the leader of the race. Not his race day. All right, racing. Heart exploded right there. Probably. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Well, if well, you're the only uh, functioning vehicle at that point, I think you automatically win. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you win by default at that point. Jazz a fraz. <laughs> Jazz a fraz. Everybody do jazz hands. Jazz a Jazz hands.
I'm sure, even though you've never actually seen or met or spoken to her or anything. Yeah, I'm awake. We're good. Let's see what your partner's got to say about you this time around. Yep, and, uh... Yeah, I'm Torque. Yeah... Hmm. Poor Luigi. Well. Wow. Well, give him a game. He'll, be, he'll probably have enough to pay you back there. Yeah, just give him a regular platformer. It'll take him all of about four stages. He can get that money. Alright, so with that done, let's see here. We want to upgrade Vivian, and we want to head over to the Trouble Center. So what do you want to do first? Well, let's upgrade Vivian, because it's like right there. Oh, so I can never remember where this place is. It's the one with the shine sprite on, on top of it. I keep thinking it's the one down in the sewers. Nope, yep, that's the one to get the curse applied to you. If. Oh, that costs, Oh, that actually costs money. I did not know that. It did? Yeah. Oh, no, wait, it actually costs shine sprites. I thought it okay, cost, that I, makes... I thought it cost money. I was like, wait, I'm paying shine sprites and money for this whole thing? What a rip! Vivian, burn this place down. <laughs> 20 HP on her now. Which is pretty good, all things considered. And she now has the ability... Fire and Jinx! Jinx. Which is awesome, because it attack all foes with flames that set them on fire. So it's like a regular attack, only it hits everybody. That's pretty alright. Doesn't that, that set them on fire feel a little redundant? Maybe. Oh. There's some more business back here? Not really. But it is something that some people have been bringing up, and I've been kind of mean to do it for a bit. There's no indication of this, but... Hmm. Yeah, you couldn't see that at all. Yeah, there's nothing that basically tells you about it. And you can just come back here and you find out <gasps> one of these guys is running the trouble center. Hmm. Go read all the troubles. <laughs> Murder my wife. Crisscross. Well, <laughs> well, he did say shady. I don't know if that's one that we should crisscross. Like, really, the only indication of that would just be that, hey, there's a little like thing here, and I'm curious what's over there. So maybe there's another entrance somewhere. Do it and do it right. So now we're off. To Twilight Town place. Yay. Yay. Where's this mayor dude? He's in his house. I couldn't remember if it was this screen or the other. Sup, mayor? Somebody in the comments mentioned that these guys are perhaps scarecrows. Eh, maybe. Eh. How stitched up and such they are. I can see that. I don't really know what else they do. What's a routing slip? I think it's the thing that just kind of says where something is supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And the like. So, what did he say we're doing? We gotta right? go to the puny elder. Alrighty. <laughs> Man, make it. Still got that secret entrance sign up there. Yep. You'd think they would have hidden that, but nope. Yeah, it's still right there. I, I gotta wonder, was there a door here before, or was it just a plain old opening? I am i don't see how it could be anything but an opening. It'd be weird if there was a door. Sure did. Somebody else told us to do it. Oh, so you want us to take it there? Oh, 
All it's right. like we gave you the item and then you gave it right back to us. Yeah. So now we gotta give this thing to your sorry butt. I know, right? It's almost like we have to see this guy again. It's almost like we just can't get away. Here, take this and never talk to us again. Uh, well, it's not that bad. We gotta take it back to the first, dude. Well, all things considered, I mean, we were right next to the pipes for each other here, so... Yeah. Not that long, but still. Ugh. Anyway, back to Twilight Town. And then we return to Twilight Town. I got your thing, you old... Scarecrow? Yeah, between the Puny Elder and Petalbird, that one wasn't bad because we had the quick pipe thing set up, but, like, going back and forth to Twilight Town is a bit of a trek. Yay, 30 coins. Oh, man. To age. What? <laughs> no, seriously, what? I can't hear you. Well, being made of straw probably helps. Yay. Yay! Now we just have to go back to town so we can tackle the next trouble. Trouble. Hey! Yay. I did not know that was there. It, of course it would be. I mean, that's one of their things they do to trick you. So we are back in town, though, and now we're going to... Trouble Center. Trouble Center. There's one more trouble that we've been avoiding the whole time because we've been saving it for one special moment. Also, we've been scared because we don't know who the person is, so we're just kind of frightened. It's Bowser. He has a gun. Oh, no! Oh. I, yeah, I would like Mario to show up to this one location alone at night. Hmm. Do it and do it right. What did we know from that trouble? Hmm? I didn't really, I didn't get a chance to read what the actual trouble was. Oh, they won an elusive badge. I mean, like, did they say where to go or what to do? Yeah, well, they said that they want to meet us on top of Zesty's house. Ah, okay, so that's where we're going. I'm gonna be honest, I miss Cherry Bomb. Or Jerry Bomb. Either way, joke stands. Hold on. Just had to make certain. Yeep. Yeep. Well, let's check out the bad shop just in shit, just in case. Bad shop. Close call. Shrink shop. Soft shop. He's got the little like baseball cap. He's got the little like hat on for selling stuff. That's not too bad, FP drain. Hmm. I mean, it costs them a lot, but. Stock always changes. We don't really have any money right now, anyway. Oh, oh man, it's Miss Mouse. She's got her own theme music. Yes, yeah, she does. Even one she can't find? Well, it's in Hooktail's lair. And it's in the room where Hooktail was. And we one to has use... to use the wind. Hooray. Oh, God. Okay. Now I gotta go all the way to Petalburg, and I gotta go into Hooktail's castle. Yeah, not just Petalburg. All the way up Hooktail's castle. So we're gonna be... We're gonna hate each other, so... We're gonna be a little while. The best way I've found to get through a battle is to burn it. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. 
Are we there yet? Yes, actually. Oh. So in the room where Hooktail was. Wait, is it... it that's, even... that's funny. It even gives you the exclamation point. But there we are. It's what we were looking for. Yay. And we get a very special badge, which Miss Mouse wanted. And now we gotta go all the ways back. Oh man. Boo. All right, we got your dumb badge. Just throw at her. Just knock her off the roof. Just, hey, thug. Dumb attack FX badge that nobody wants because it's dumb and just makes sound. Kinda, yeah. Oh, I thought that's the same face we always have. <laughs> hmm. Now I have to strangle Donka. <laughs> Cheese hunk. I know, I know. <laughs> you, I don't know, you almost told us exactly where to get it. That wasn't a very good job of hiding. Yeah. Hmm, I just thought of something. Is it the fact you're gonna join our party now that I don't have to make everybody feel bad for having quote-unquote spoiled that considering the fact that the very... The very title card you put up for these videos has Miss Mouse in the picture with Mario. Not does that it? one, the other one. Yeah, it does? Yeah. Huh, I'm gonna have to look at that again. For the videos you have. Yeah. I know it's the title screen of the game. Yeah. Which I do actually like the title screen of the game in that it doesn't, for the most part, spoil a lot of the bigger things that are gonna happen later on. Like, you don't see Vivian on the title screen. Yeah, other than that, it doesn't spoil the last two party members you get. Yeah. I mean, it shows a couple It shows a couple party members, but it's all like, eh, that's kind of normal, that's nothing to worry about. Blah. Ms. Mouse joins your party! Heck yeah! Ms. Mouse does stuff. You probably won't use her. A primer. Especially with a player's guide, probably something we're never going to use. Man, look at her run. <laughs> it's like a treasure chest right in front of me, I think I can. In other words, if you can see it, so can I. Oh, hold on. She's the one actually given this thing. Well, in battle, I can attack enemies with my love slap. I can also help you out by using my kiss thief move to steal enemies' items. Oh, that'd actually be kind of decent. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just kind of liked it. The fact is, like, that's breaking the fourth wall. Also, I see. A star uh, yeah, piece. I see a star piece right there. I wonder if ever. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it there so everybody in the comments can go like. Rrr, 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 rrr. And now we have Miss Mouse, who is conditionally an all right party member, but she is optional. You had to complete that one trouble to get her. Playing through the game normally, you never would, so hey Now let's go upgrade her because hey we got the star oh we got the shine oh, Why not? <laughs> we we got the shine gets that we need. Shine a git! So Ingrishry. Like it's so I like Vivian's thing. Just look at it. Yeah. You can use T's to make all enemies dizzy. Look at the size of Coop's head. I think I brought that up before. You did, yeah. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think this one over. How should I tease enemies? You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's quite in your style, but whatever's effective. More HP and tease. Wait, just making them dizzy. You're a bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, how does that even work? I've never been insulted like that before. Now I'm... Now I'm confused. <laughs> now I'm bemused. I can't quite stand upright anymore. I gotta, I gotta sit down. Give me a moment. 
But that's all the troubles that we can do right now, which means now we just need to move forward towards unlocking the next chapter. Which should be fun, because yay -ish. Is he back yet, or is he gone? Nope, he's still gone. He won't be back for a while. We gotta ask the salt here. <gasps> the salty salts. Yeah, there was a dude in the inn we had to talk to. I don't remember if we I did that they, last time. I, I, I bet they met the bad end. Oh man, did they actually agree to the white's plan? <laughs> Get it out, man! Come on! <laughs> Continuing inspiration. Pull a por pull a porky pig and just say something different entirely. <laughs> Son, son, of a, son of a 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 gun. <laughs> you thought I said I was gonna say son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> Not a pirate curse. Oh no. But we already have the jump jump fruit, so. Well, too bad. So Guess sad. what we're doing? Oh man, a satellite dish. <laughs> Wait, if there's a satellite dish, then that means that they've got crap in orbit. They have satellites. Huh. Eh, you know what, I'll actually buy that, considering how much space travel we've done already. All it takes is finding the right pipe. <laughs> It'll just kinda go, shoo, and you're there. A pirate king, you say? Hmm, oh wow, wow. Wow, that's, that's a, a fancy little ship there. That's a ship. It's Flavio, the merchant trader. Hmm, maybe we should go talk to this Flavio character. Yeah, I don't see him out here. We should probably go talk to him. I'm plumber of the world. The first thing you're supposed to do here is actually go to the inn to talk to him. I know, I know, but they said that, uh... You should go talk to the sea salts down at the docks. Yeah, I just couldn't remember if we had talked to him or not. But... This has always just kind of worried me. Just the fact that it's like, this thing's supposed to lead into the town. It's like the only way that leads into the town from the port. And it's like fucked up beyond repair that they just have to put a... Uh... It's, kinda it's like they're one. working on it, but they had to put planks here to make sure nobody fell into the crevice. They just kind of built a new one out of wood over the old one. So to the inn! That bed looks like an inn. It's the bed, the universal sign for inns. You have to do it with a don. Or a gusto. Me mom said. Oh, is that the dude on the right there? Yes, that's the dude. Man! I think I warned you about him way back. I don't care if we have to use him to, like, go somewhere, as long as he doesn't follow us around the entire chapter. Well, kind of, sort of. Man! Well, kind of, sort of, because he's there for most of it, but he won't be there, like, the whole time around. Okay, I didn't mean to talk to you, Torque. I meant to jump over here. 